So I just got another angle grinder. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Everyone, that's nice. Yeah, finally, finally got a not not being stuck to a cord. Will hopefully be be good. You're in a I really th- positive situation where you don't have to change the blades on your angle grinder, aren't you? You can have a stone one, a metal one, one for just grinding down the metal. Yeah, one one flap disc, uh, yeah. one uh, steel wire brush, one strapped to a post. You're upside down angle yeah. grinder. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's all. <laughs> A lingo grinder for your left hand. <laughs> yeah, and you have one, one strapped to your bike. That would preferably be the one with the battery, of course. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Can you power a bike off an angle grinder? I think you need some gear. Yes, but I don't want to. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, that would be some gear reduction going from 11,000 RPM to to the wheel. Because, yeah, that's that would be scary, I think. It'd be great. <laughs> Getting it up to speed might be hard, but yeah. Well, can, some of the original mopeds you had to pedal, didn't you, to get them going? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you already have the accessories. Uh, you got that chuck last week, so you can use yeah. that and just uh, <laughs> chuck it onto the axle of the, preferably the front tire, and then uh, let it rip. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite ready to die yet, but yeah. Honestly, if I had a battery angle grinder, I would be trying. <laughs> I'm so tempted. <laughs> then get one and try it yourself. I think they, they're obviously cheaper in Sweden. <laughs> I've only got two. <laughs> I've not got a battery one. So what, what made you buy another one, KJ? Yeah, but I, I wanted a battery-powered one because it's it's a real hassle if you go somewhere and want to cut something to actually be running a cord to something and and since i don't i'm not a fancy youtuber or got sponsored with an echo flow or something like that big battery pack yeah and then, l- last time I, I when i cut down the the swing set i bought that was i had a angle grinder with me and a, a extension cord and that was just so i just reached it and that was just pure luck and if i had a battery powered one that would have been so much better so <laughs> yeah but no, so, I think I'm done with uh, with angle grinders. I'm not going to get another one, I think. Is that one going in your everyday carry, then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting it in my pocket, if that's what you mean. That's what you mean. But um, the, the let's call it field kits or something like that. The, uh, the big toolbox. That's definitely, yeah. Excellent. You bought anything new? Or you just bought a load of parts for your uh, health cord, haven't you? Yeah, spent my monthly budget on that. Um, I almost got a, an electric bike this week, um, but uh, it's a bit pricey, but it's on sale. And of course, we want one. Uh, we thought about getting one in addition to my wife's last year. But then we, I thought too much about it, and then summer passed. Uh, and now they have a winter sale on the exact model that I was... Uh, drooling over last summer but uh yeah that's gonna put my um tool budget back a few months so uh, it's a hard thing just uh you can just stick stick with your uh, pedal powered bike yeah but i don't have one so uh oh okay and because of the geography i i could get one but it will never see any use because uh we have the hilly, k- killer of all hills to get up to our house, so it's uh, yeah. I mean, if I lived yeah. in Denmark, then of course, but yeah. Denmark's flat, right? <clears throat> yep. Yes. Yeah. Flat as a toad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I live on top of one of the few hills in Lincolnshire. There aren't many here. No, it's. I have an image of that being a very flat part of the country, but of course, I could be surprised. I'm I'm sub- subscribed to one of those auction sites for uh, uh, when uh... angle grinders. <laughs> <laughs> you would think no when uh, uh, when uh, uh, businesses go out of business, so to say, uh, oh, yeah. liquidators. Yeah, liquidators. Yeah. Uh, so I got uh, I'm sending a, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, got really uh, tempted. No, not really, but. Uh, because they were having a, a CNC uh, for 
uh, that's big ass. Uh, I don't really know. A full, full sheet uh, for fabrication that barely no one is uh, is bidding on so far. Uh, but I mean, that would take up more than my workshop. Holy so it's crap! Not... It actually has like no reserve. Yeah, it's a no, no reserve at the, at the moment. It's like hundred quid. Yeah, uh, holy it'd probably go shit. up a bit. Yeah, Pro- yeah. There, there, there must be some people who are just waiting and thinking the same as we are. Like holy, yeah, moly. hopefully. It's uh, some kind of um, uh, school in uh, in the south of Sweden for making furniture or some sort of woodworking thing about Bob selling. And I mean, that's a huge piece of kit, so it's not something you can put anywhere. But it's it's really tempting. But at the same time, you need like I mean, all a the warehouse to have it. All the tool cabinets that follows along with all the tools. Would actually fill up my workshop, and I yeah. and I wouldn't have place for it. You, you see one, container, one you? but they actually have a lot of woodworking. I mean, they have the jointer thicknesser from Felder. That's the same company I bought my CNC from. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, it, I it, I feel it's a really good thing that's the that's so far away. So I just can't bid on stuff and and nip over and get it uh, because that could be troublesome. And I could get some ideas. So it's, but when you're seeing it's, it's, it's nice to, Holy to dream. Crap. They have a bandsaw, industrial size. This is. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Jesus, that's the. Where are they located? Or Somewhere it... in Malmo. Oh, Malmo. Shit. Yeah. But still, that's a, that's a trip. It could be done. Yeah. I think you should just buy that, KJ. <laughs> I mean, and of course, I'll just uh, you you can buy it for me, and then of course I don't have to pay VAT on it. I can just drive over in the night and get it later. <laughs> Give you an organ in payment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can uh, I can pay you in one organ. <laughs> <laughs> then I want your liver. <laughs> That that would be cool. Just get it on top of a trailer and then try and look as suspicious as possible over the border, <laughs> like <laughs> driving the back roads and like have a scout car and whatever, and make sure you get the attention. And then they will like, what are you trying to hide? Like, no, 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 <laughs> don't look under there. And then I pull over. It's like, yeah, I have an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Proper smoky and the bandit style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I thought you were yeah, well, very, they... very generous just asking for a liver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want your skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Sorry about You're going to peel it yourself with your <laughs> knife or... <laughs> The uh, the the knife's already got a more important, it's already destined for a more important job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Snip, snip. <laughs> that's the problem is that I need, there is a couple of tools that I, I really need rather quickly, maybe. Um, <laughs> because the web page is up. I actually uh, figure out the, the shipping integration and the payment solution. Mm. So now you can go and buy stuff and you can pay it by a card or invoice or PayPal or whatever. And then you can get it shipped with whoever you want. Nice. So it's a, uh, I now have a fully operational web page selling stuff, uh, but I haven't really prepared for what if someone actually pushes buy on something, then I'm, I need to start building things. For sale. <laughs> <So> <laughs> didn't think that far. Um, What's it called? Oh my god, it's uh, holy shit. Uh, Star Wars Dotano. Um, it's my uh, basically the domain with my last name. So, um, some we'll point we put it in the description. Yeah, yeah, it's in discount. the description. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it won't be on the Instagram one. Don't worry. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> It's for a very narrow crowd. But yeah, but that means I, I basically reached a point where I've tested and figured out all the technical bits. So it's basically ready to, well, I have a shop basically and 
of course, the, the next step would be to get it onto various uh, marketplaces and um, actually making it discoverable for people. But of course, yeah. that's the hard part. Yeah, and when you're doing that, you're kind of committed because the the first time someone presses order on whatever, you have to build it. So it's a, it's a different ball game. Um, and then, of course, in Norway, we have like one major online marketplace and they also have business accounts. But uh, I sent them an email. What does it cost to like uh, the lowest tier buy-in? And holy shit, of course, it's... Uh, it's one of the larger companies within that segment, and I know where they make their money now. It's not for <laughs> people selling their cars and whatnot. They are really leeching onto the uh, the businesses trying to use their platform as a advertisement yeah. outlet. That's exciting times. Having your own shop, your second shop actually, you've already got one on uh, YouTube, haven't you? <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, that's uh, uploading stickers to a third-party provider. That's something yeah. different. But I mean, uh, here I have to like source the wood, find the best one, and actually making something and then uh, shipping it off. So, yeah. But it seems like you've got everything up in the right order. A shop, then you'll get customers, and then you'll get some products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, it's... Uh, and it's it, it will probably be an overlay there, okay? You you have your day job, and then of course you do the YouTube thing uh, as a hobby, and then of course you're now going to add on to that where you actually have to make stuff uh, at the quality because you're going to sell it, and then of course the uh, time is uh, finite. So uh, yeah, seems like a lot of Americans do that actually, don't they? They have the day jobs, then uh, do um, outwork, either you know doing woodwork at people's houses or making chopping boards and things and then having YouTube channels, it seems pretty standard in America. Yeah. But yeah. But they don't have kids. Eight hour work week is standard <laughs> in America. So Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was it Issy Swan who said, I'm retiring. That means I'm going down to a forty hour work week. <laughs> 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 What's the matter with those? Yeah. Yeah. But that being said, I heard I've I've recently stumbled over a few videos of this guy who's doing basically documentaries about New York City and how shitty that has become the last couple of years. And now, of course, there's a housing crisis. It's basically been that for years. Uh, but now, of course, people can't even afford rent, so people are getting mass evicted. And I've also seen a lot of other people's like um, there was this couple. Uh, who were pregnant and of course they i think they paid seventeen hundred dollars a month in insurance for the three months up until the end of the pregnancy and of course after that they had to pile on i mean for that one insurance they pay more than we pay on the mortgage for our house from one month it's it's insane yeah. and of course when you start adding those numbers up, and of course, um, students' loans or whatever, I mean, they need to work three jobs just to make ends meet. And I, I, I can't, for the life of me, fathom why people still want to live there. I mean, if you're born and raised there, there's one thing, but some, a lot of the people have just moved there. And I mean, yeah. I would have moved back to wherever hellhole I came from <laughs> because anything is better than the States, basically. I mean, it's nice going there for a holiday, but I, I would never, in my wildest dreams, would want to live there. No. This one guy was doing uh, um, woodworking or whatever, and of course, yeah, well, uh, hopefully uh, this won't break my back because uh, I can't afford insurance right now. And I mean, that's the kind of level they're working <laughs> at. I mean, it's it's one nail away being uh, not only crippled for life, but also in debt for life. Because you you cut your finger on your table saw and uh, you had to have surgery and then you're several hundred thousand in debt to uh, insurance company or something. It's crazy. Do you guys have uh, free healthcare? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I mean it's a uh, it's extremely cheap uh, at least. I think it's a fixed fixed rate. Whatever you go in for, it's like twenty quid or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, and then if you need 
heart transplant, 20 quid. <laughs> Ingrowing toenail, 20 quid. Yeah, basically. Yeah. More or less. Sounds all right. <laughs> and then it's, uh, uh, what's that called? Um, if you pay for medication, there's a, there's a roof or a ceiling on that. Yeah. That takes care of that rather quickly, I think. Yeah, oh. most of us have to pay for our medicine, but again, it's it's sealed at a, a particular price. Oh. So it's. I think the ceiling here is around 120 quid. So, if you buy medicine for more than that, then of course, uh, within a year, the rest is covered by the state. So, oh. right, yeah, very good. Then again, the I... only problem here is that there's uh, so many queues to the. Through the healthcare, so you have to wait wait a long time to actually get yeah, someone think, to look at you if if it's not an emergency. I think that's pretty similar here. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get to the doctors, see a doctor within two weeks, you just tell them it's an emergency. Yeah, or m- most people have something through their work, so that speeds up the process. Very good. Not such a bad place to live then. No, no, no. Quite good. I'm not leaving. Do you get a lot. Of- <laughs> Do you get a lot of injuries of just people slipping over on the ice all the time, though? Yes, it's, I think it, it happens. <laughs> it's quite hazardous, isn't it? Well, it can be, especially yeah. for uh, for old, older people, for yep. old brittle. But I people. feel okay. You have the odd old people probably um, in the emergency room, but. I think it's more the young people, and especially at weekends when alcohol is involved, because you're too tough to put on spikes or whatever. And I actually passed the age where I'm, I'm now comfortably, I just went into the store and bought studded shoes. So I actually have that in the wintertime. Hmm. And that, of course, makes you basically Superman on ice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And you sound like a cowboy if you go into a store, a clink, a clink, a clink. <laughs> I, I I hate people doing that. <laughs> yes. So uh, I actually, I just use them to and from my car, and then I bring my uh, regular shoes for if I know I'm going inside a store or whatnot. Because uh, of course, if you and have the bunny slippers, <laughs> yeah, if you have the ones you can take off, then it's easy enough. But if you have the studded shoes, it's like, uh, yeah, you sound like RoboCop going into the store. <laughs> we don't do studded, studded shoes here. It's you know if it's if it's studded, you're on the football field. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's uh, I, it wasn't. I mean, you got the the studs that you can take off has been around for decades, but uh, like fully studded shoes just caught on a couple of years ago. Before that, it wasn't a thing unless you were yeah, especially interested. I haven't really seen it either. Probably a really good job that they don't wear studded shoes when they're out drinking and whatnot. It's going to add to the fight problems, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's that. Um, yeah. Very well. Yeah. You just carry on wearing your plimsolls, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Much safer for everybody concerned. <laughs> so, yeah. What's the, what's the plan for the rest of the week without ruining what we're going to talk about next week? <laughs> <laughs> Finishing the knife. I'm I'm starting to get a little anxious that I don't have uh, have time to to mess up because fixing <laughs> it will be. And since this weekend uh, I'm off to uh, to Gothenburg, uh, so I don't I'm not gonna have any time to get anything done in the weekend. So I have to nip away from from work. I think uh, to get it done. Is it a work thing, the Gotham? Go- no, Gothenburg? no, it's. Yeah. Uh, me and the wife escaping the parent life uh, to go and see a musical. Oh, your birthday celebration! Oh, so you're going yes. to see the Mamma Mia? <laughs> no, uh, Wicked. <laughs> yeah. You've seen Wicked in London, haven't you? Yes, yes I have. Yeah, It's a really good one. Uh, yeah. Nice. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that's you get the nice. pleasure of the children. Uh... uh her, <laughs> her parents, um, okay. my parents-in-law. Uh, it sounded, well, like, you, it sounded yeah. like you'd not thought about it for a second. Then. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to take a little there, old enough. No, and 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 actually, um, 
my wife's mother uh, just slipped on a patch of ice uh, the other day so she's more or less bedridden at the moment oh gosh she should have had some studded shoes yeah exactly yeah, should have. <laughs> that's the thing you know <laughs> i'm gonna tell her that I... yeah <laughs> i can send her a link <laughs> yeah so where are we date wise anyway so this will come out on Saturday, no, Tuesday, the following weekend. Is that when the videos are due out? We've said the 18th. That's the uh, Sunday of next week. Yeah, but we're not uh, we're not decided on when uh, on Sunday. So we should really uh, pick a time as well. Well, I'm going to start editing this week and deciding which direction my video is going to go in. But I can, I'll definitely have it done this week. So. Yeah, early as, early as possible, really, just to make it inconvenient for you, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But so, uh, at at what time does your audience get up in the morning, Glenn? <laughs> Is it eight o'clock, nine o'clock on a yeah. on a Sunday? Well, my audience isn't in, in this country. <laughs> <laughs> so Mostly. when do you wake up from the? Uh, Saturday night <laughs> boosting. Yeah, uh, probably nine ten o'clock, just yeah. in case. It's very often much earlier for me, but uh, every once in a while, like last weekend, I did. It was nine o'clock. I think. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I felt like I'd wasted half a day. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Whatever works for me, basically. Um, I'm up and about. I'm thinking. So should be decided since we are on the... deciding on a, a time. I'm actually going to upload it and set it for instant premiere, so then I can uh, watch this. Yeah. That should we go for nine o'clock then? UK nine time. On... Yeah, <laughs> nine o'clock on the eighteenth. Yeah, yeah. nine a.m. Nine a.m. So ten... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't get out of bed at nine p.m. <laughs> 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 then you really should cut back on your boosting. I think. <laughs> so, 10 a.m. it is, Norwegian time. Yes. Very good. So, uh, pressure's on you then, KJ. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> why, why did I have to complicate things? I could have just whittled a butter knife. I, <sighs> apart oh, from uh, adding lights, I couldn't have done much more to mine, to be fair. <laughs> well, then... Uh, it was quite complicated. <laughs> in two weeks, you'll... Uh... I'll show you how to complicate a butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I really do. And I'm looking forward to be done with the knife as well, because it's, yeah. It's, and ne- I, don't, next... I don't need the added thing with a deadline in my personal life yeah. as well, I've realized. I was planning on building something else through January for release about now as well. So, yeah, I'd be quite glad to have the knife done. But I have enjoyed it. Yeah, but yeah. It's been a nice thing to do. But I think next time, of course, depending on what it is, it, it, we could do a shorter time frame. Yeah, then it's no time to make it too elaborate. No, I think it's been nice. There's still there's still time if anybody else wants to join in as well. To yeah, make a yeah. quick knife. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you have a you have a week from yeah. If you if anybody else wants to make one of those simple wooden butter knives, a it's uh, a plenty of, of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> So yeah, for me this week, I'm um, editing the video, get that out of the way, and then um, planning the next project, get that started, the next musical instrument. Mm, you're onto that now. I'd like to be, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was the plan for January, but uh, yeah, three other things came up in the meantime, <laughs> for, <laughs> As it does. including the knife, yeah. <laughs> but it's quite nice not to be doing house projects anymore and being back on it, and I like to find my flow and get the hang of that camera and get sorted yeah well that's uh i guess the the plan for me this week is to do uh podcast editing so that uh kind of dictates the next couple of days <laughs> i'm not that's... volunteering to do it for you but i'm a little bit jealous i actually really do enjoy editing the podcast nowadays oh nice that you've come around yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i mean when 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 everything works out it's i mean it's it's a breeze and it's really fun, but I mean, it takes time and time is a valuable com- commodity. Yeah. So it's just been learning the, 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 how to do it for me, to be fair. 
it's like you know this week's new thing to learn was noise reduction which i i eventually did <laughs> but, only, <laughs> but for the half part not for the first one unfortunately <laughs> yeah so no i enjoy it yeah you know, your face face looks like it enjoys it havard right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, well, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice it's a it's a it's a slow re-entry into every day anything basically um i'm still yeah. i'm still muting every now and then to cough my lungs up so i'm I'm still not 100 percent. but of course tomorrow i'll be back at work at least so we'll see how that goes so you've been off work this entire time yeah um i didn't think it's gonna last that long because i, I felt kind of good um by the end of last last weekend but then it just evened out. I, I really did not like seem to crack the last part of it. And then, of course, I went to the doctors and oh, you have a infection uh, somewhere. And I did some tests. Uh, it turns out it's just a general flu, basically. But uh, there's a lot of people around. And I think oh, half of all the kids in kindergarten is now out of kindergarten because of the same thing in and everybody yeah. has been knocked out for well over a week. So I just spent a week on the couch, just uh, coughing, sweating, uh, not sleeping very well, and so on. So uh, the doctor said, y- you're not going to work. <laughs> so uh... <laughs> it's, um, it's tricky when the kids are your kid's age. It, they do pick up a lot more infections and spread it around a lot more. I mean, it still goes on that when they're older, but... They, they're a little bit cleaner and a little bit better about washing their hands and spreading it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I thought I had the, yeah. uh, I thought I had the immune system of uh, like Superman uh, or adamantium or something. I was invincible, and of course, in the early twenties, that of course is the way you see the world. You can't possibly die, but yeah. of course, into my thirties, it's like. Well, it seems like a good track record, and um, maybe there's something to this. Maybe I am invincible, and then, of course, you get kids, <laughs> and then they go to kindergarten, and then you realize you're just as mortal as the next guy. And uh, I've never been so sick in my entire life you, uh, after the kids like went you've been to. Ever so sick lately. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a it's like a marathon. It's like uh, we just put them back to kindergarten. <laughs> for to pick them up again a half an hour later with something new and then uh, it's like uh, having sick days with children and then you have your own sick days and then yeah it's an <laughs> eternal circle I don't know whether I've con- convinced myself of a placebo effect but every time I start feeling poorly I um, take a shot of vitamins and it seems to keep it away but I say I don't know whether it's a placebo or they actually work but who cares? If it works, it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The placebo yeah. effect is a wonderful thing, and you should use it any way you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Try some, try some vitamins. <laughs> try some vitamins and stay in your workshops. Yeah. <laughs> Work outside. Get older kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get older kids. That's such yeah. a bad thing. I'm working. Swap them out for older ones. <laughs> working on it day by day. Getting older yeah. kids, yeah. <laughs> it's a quicker process than you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they say. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was it was a few nice days there because, of course, uh, our oldest was also knocked out with the same and she didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to go anywhere, so we just spent the entire days uh, on the couch. And, of course, my wife <laughs> took the other kid who is not affected at all and just put her in kindergarten and then went to work herself. So we were just sitting at home in the couch watching cartoons. So it's, it's been nice, but of course uh, <laughs> uh, not being able to get proper sleep and just alternating between having a fever and then freezing your ass off with all the clothes you own on you. So it's uh, <laughs> you know, look, it's looking listening. forward to everything to just mellow out a bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, spring's on the way, Havard. Hopefully, things will turn around. Everybody will be feeling better. Oh, it is. Good sunshine. I think it was yesterday I went out to get some more firewood, and you could actually hear the uh, the robins or something coming back. You can hear all, all yeah. the birds uh, start to chatter about, so it's uh, really nice. 
Yeah, it was really spring feel this uh, this weekend, and today I awoke to minus eleven degrees. Oh gosh! So uh, it's, it's... Winter came back. With a <laughs> fist it's the, in the same face. here, and it's going to snow the next couple of days, so we're back on it. Yeah, yeah. I think we've got a little bit of snow forecast this week, but it's um, the past few days. It's been twelve degrees. It's been lovely. Right. Yeah, that's and, a um, proper summer temperature. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd have been in your shorts, wouldn't you? Yeah. Some baby. <laughs> Bring me another cocktail. Yeah, I, can't, I can't wait until 1st of March. That's uh, officially spring months, so then I'm pulling out the cargo shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm really done with winter, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, this has been a crappy winter. Uh, so, it's yeah. been a good winter, but it's been too long and too, yeah, too much of it. Yeah, it's been too long. Too much people dying. It's cold. It's wet. No, it's it's time for some summer. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> Can't wait for summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it would be nice to uh, uh, sit on the porch, have a cup of coffee in the sun. Have the kids playing around in the grass. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I just can't wait to get back in shorts and t-shirts, to be honest with you. Yeah. I hate wearing all the layers. And then, of course, having the web shop up and running, and then I'll probably hire some pensioner to do the work, and then I can just sit there and relax and enjoy <laughs> my day. It's going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> can I be the guy that you hire to press the button on the CNC? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the easiest job in the world. Well, it's uh, the CNC doesn't do the sanding part. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you said you could slow things down and they barely need any sanding. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that's going to be nice. Well, so with that, we end this week's uh, half pint, I guess. Or Doom and Gloom pod, pod I think it's called now. Yeah, yeah it Doom feels and Gloom. Like... <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that bad i mean it's uh, it just feels that after tim so it's uh yeah 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 it's a, we, let's tell ourselves that it's <laughs> <laughs> need to uh, fill up on some sugar before next time i think yeah sugar and some alcohol hey we can't be full of beans every week can we <laughs> <laughs> well uh, after we do some magic and there. editing, it's going to be all uh, hunky-dory from here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thanks you for listening and uh, goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>